this, I think, a week or two ago, that it was a really incredible paper that came out on the Nazca lines. The Nazca lines are those big lines that was familiar with that look like they were made by aliens or whatever, and then history, the history aliens do all those funny shows on all oh, they were made by ancient aliens. None of that. And, they're, and you have to like kind of look at them from way above, right? Like if you fly over on a plane, you can kind of see these pictorial diagrams on the surface of the Earth? Yeah, that's the thing. Some of them, yes. Others, no. And all of them, if you find the right vantage point in the Alpa where they're located, the answer is no. You can, look, you can see them from certain vantage points really, really well. And those vantage points have significance. So the first thing to know about these lines is that there are a lot of slow lines. And the small lines, you can kind of see while you're walking along a trail. And if you see a certain line, it's like a funny picture that looks kind of like an alien or a picture of like a g- guys with really big butts or all sorts of weird things. If you see that, you can recognize it if you're one of the hikers and you can walk down the path that it marks. They're path markers. They mark areas where people would go to, you know, want to turn to get to a certain destination if they cross it at that moment. And then... The big lines that everybody's more familiar with, those ones were made after a state appeared in the region, and you can see all of them from the top of this huge temple complex uh, in the southern part of the Papa. It's really kind of incredible, but uh, these small ones we didn't know too much about. Most of them were discovered recently by AI, by computer vision software that pinpointed where they were on all like in all these images and then people went down with you know the Peruvian government and they looked at them and they were like yep that's real that so there really is a line here we had noticed it before but ai showed it to us and it was these small lines that gave us the indication that uh that trailheads and they're older than the big lines and that the state co-opted the practice of making these lines for their ritual purposes so this was a huge mystery for a long time right like all kinds of speculation about aliens making them and so on it really it was just discover like discovery through ai of these kind of smaller lines that kind of unlocked the whole thing is that right yeah we knew about pl- a lot of the smaller lines but there weren't enough of them to there weren't enough in the data set and to figure out that whoa wait look every single lot of them is like right near a trailhead like where the trail turns there are trails carved in right near each of these little lines it's kind of incredible all it took was gathering more data, and then we could easily figure out and piece together the history here. To hear the rest of this conversation and to learn about many other topics as well, search for our podcast, Clear Thinking with Spencer Greenberg, on any podcasting app, or go to our website at podcast.clearthinking.org.